for the next website, I'll try to do something slightly different. I'll try to see how they look on mobile. So we haven't done any mobile yet. Okay, so I dislike the fact, like the image is not very good quality. It should be better quality. It doesn't look too super professional to me. My menu. It's basic, but acceptable, I would say. What is this outlet? It's a collection. Once again, this, this image is very low quality. I can never ever reload there. So once again, since this is not professional enough, seems like not a, a, a store I could much trust because just like I see better photos on Instagram, I'd say. Then I usually don't like text in the images because that's not going to be crawled by Google and by uh, search engines. So if you have any important copy, I usually would try to have them like separate, like as actual text. And once again, this image wasn't done to be here. There is like a small disclaimer here that nobody reads. So not a great look. So my first impression is not great. Uh, but let's try to see Mel's must-haves. Okay. What are you selling, you know? Are you selling just tops? Are you selling clothes in general? If you're going to show something here, don't make a campaign. If you want, possibly this could be uh, creative for an ad. You spend 75, you, you get this. 125, you get that. But this is not a good creative for your website. If you want to have a banner or a, 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 a ear image, you, you may, even though it's also arguable that that's not the best approach for conversions. But if you're going to have it, at least make it like a lifestyle uh, photo or video. Show what people are going to get. I can give you an example of an ex-client of ours that has great media great creatives you can see i'm on the store and i have very attractive uh very attractive examples of the products that are going to see there you know and i can check others very easily i'm not able to scroll okay i see the products as well but the first thing i see is actually how they are going to look like so showcase your products on people actually using them and enjoying them then shop a category what i'm going to purchase today let's go for all because i'm not sure what i want <sighs> i have 550 products here so i better have some good filters yeah they are pretty basic in the sense that like maybe i'll probably add here some collections or some categories or tags. So I just want what is in stock. My size. How can I even put my size if I don't know what is the category, you know? So probably on the filters here, I'll try to make it more uh, easier to choose what I want or what I can buy. I have here a quick view. That doesn't convince me enough because I don't have much description. Let's see if we have it on the actual product page. I can slide, can see the details, rice and lace, very nice. And I have here a description. Okay, okay. If it's one size, why do you even have it here? Just remove it. No need to have the size, it's just one size. use more payment options okay summary is calling time to grab adventure by the handles why well, you love it yeah i'll probably try to improve this copy as well try to focus on keywords that are related i see here women's tote bag that's good bag german dolls not going to do much but i like more specifics of the product itself Measurement guide. Why would I need a measurement guide for a product that has no size? 
Yeah. Yeah, I think this was done generically for all products and it could be optimized a bit. The sizing and care, I'll probably even add some, some imagery if possible, some media to show how, how it should be done. Or I feel like external article where you go in detail how to take care of the product. But I understand it's important to have here. But measurement guide it makes sense. And description could be lengthier, could tell me more than just this marketing copy, you know, because it's very much like gorgeous, it's going to be perfect, you know. But I'm okay with a bit of marketing talk, marketing copy, but I don't want to know specifics, you know, like um, what's the material, you know, what's the warranty, uh, what's like, um, okay, what, what, can I wash it or not? I think I still have the washing thing here, you know, I'll take care of it. No, you don't have your, I only can take care of my bag. Obviously, I'm not a huge tote bag. Uh, uh, genius, but uh, I'd like to know more about my bag before I buy it. So more about the product wouldn't hurt. And the more, the more you describe the product, the best will be for content creation purposes and for the client to feel like they are there, you know? Uh, something that I can touch in this point here is that like, we are still, people are getting more and more used to sell online, of course, new world, post pandemic world, etc. But you need to take into account that they still are not seeing or neither touching the products. So, of course, in the future, we now have Google's new um, Google's new uh, virtual try-on solution. So you'll be able to see products, interact with them through your devices, which is quite cool. Shopify already paved the way to that when they start having the 3D models option. So you could see how specific, I don't know, chair would look in your living room and so on. But and if you don't have the budget or the capacity to do it, bet on your copy, you know, try to explain what the product is, why you should buy it in as much detail as you can, as if the person wouldn't even be able to see the photos, you know. So describe the patterns, describe the materials, why they are done, how they were done, how they were manufactured, you know, and all the information. And what is missing me here is definitely it's like how much time we'll have to wait to get the product. So some shipping info would also be interesting. But let's imagine that you convince me nonetheless and uh, I'll buy this bag. Great. Better. Better than what we saw so far in terms of offering a cross sell here. I don't like that I need to click somewhere to edit, but I understand that I'm not just buy something easily without seeing the quick view, but it's a bit messy because we have the page, the drawer, and now another layer on top of it. User experience isn't great. Once again, special instructions, nobody uses that unless your business requires it for some specific reason. So most of the time, they'll just get over with it. I would prefer to don't have the quick view and instead to have more details directly here and uh, being able to purchase directly from here. I see that I can have multiple. I would probably be curious how they are doing this association between this product and this product because it doesn't make much sense to me, but maybe the AI gods see something different. Okay, let's try the checkout. They have the shipping offering there, which is good. Checkout is not bad. Typical Shopify from checkout from uh, checkout from Shopify. We have the logo. We have the order summary, potential possibility of putting a discount. I'm not going to go through the other steps because we've done it already. Very important, always add your legal documents, your disclaimers here. Because even for sake of advertisement, you know, Google Shopping, you will have to, uh, you will have to um, put this information in your website in the checkout. Otherwise, Google would not allow you to. Google not allow you to advertise on their on their Google Shopping functionality. So I think we went through a bunch of things that could get better here. Um, shop the look. Let's. How can I shop the look? Oh boy. Yeah. I click and I saw the product. Okay, that's not a bad thing. Execution could be better, but uh, it's weird. I have to click on it for the shop to look to be appearing and then I just have one product anyway. 
Yeah, not great. If you're going to do it, do it like this. Yeah, that's better. Or you have different things. If possible, also improve the style. But okay. Could be better, could be worse, but definitely improve the product page. Because even if people get to find what they want, you want them to be convinced in the product page to move forward.